Hey guys, welcome to this brief video where today I want to show off what I am describing as probably the geekiest thing I've ever automated on my computer. Now, as I've mentioned before, I really love um, kind of streamlining the processes um, and my workflow and my, my workday. And I love using different um, tools and apps to automate different processes and just make things simpler, make things faster and more efficient on the, on the uh, Mac, which is why I love apps like Alfred and Hazel and Text Expander, because they just make life quicker and easier, or they make your work quicker and easier. And uh, today I want to show off a workflow or a, an automation that I've set up, which basically strings together a number of different tools and automation services that I've used to just um, uh, streamline one very small, one very simple thing that I have to do. And I think this just shows the power of what you can actually do when you do string together different tools and services. And hopefully it'll inspire you to kind of try and simplify and streamline streamline some things in your workday. So um, as uh, somebody who's got an email list and somebody with an email list that's now approaching about 15,000, um, just about 15,000 subscribers, um, I get quite a few email responses from people who are responding to the email campaigns that I send out and the automated emails that I send out. And um, with a fair number of subscribers now, it's no surprise that some people will eventually unsubscribe from those emails. But occasionally I get people emailing me saying, please remove me from your list. And it's, it's quite frustrating because firstly, I don't know why they can't just click the unsubscribe link. It's right there in the email. And I don't want them to be on the list if they don't want to be there. So I have to, at the moment, I have to open Chrome, log into MailChimp, search for the person's username, unsubscribe them manually. And it, it takes, I don't know, like 60 to 90 seconds, maybe two minutes all up. And it's just, I mean, that's not a huge amount of time, but it just gets kind of tedious and boring. And I thought, hmm, there must be a quicker way uh, to kind of streamline and automate this process. And I thought it would be really cool if I could type a command into Alfred. This is Alfred. Um, if I could just type a command into Alfred um, and have that person unsubscribed. And I thought, well, Alfred would, would be a really great way to just type in the username, but it can't unsubscribe on MailChimp. But then there are automation surfaces like Zapier or Zapier, however you want to pronounce it, that can handle the unsubscribe part. So I, th I just thought I need to figure out a way to join the two together. And so this is the process that I have come up with and I'll show you now. So uh, I have an Alfred workflow set up here and I have a trigger that is triggered by the word um, unsubscribe or unsub, sorry. And um, when, this, uh, when this keyword is put in and uh, an email address, what happens is an Alfred creates a new text file and the, the query that I input, which is the email address, um, become, is, is used as the file name. And you can see here the file is saved to this path, which is my Dropbox folder, and it's saved to the action folder in my Dropbox. And then the query here is specifying that the query that I put into Alfred, so the email address, that will be the, part, the um, file name. And then just as a little confirmation, I get a notification and a sound to confirm that that step has been completed. What then happens on the Zapier side of things is, um, if I show you this workflow or this Zap, sorry, um, Dropbox is set to watch for a new file in a particular folder. It's watching that action folder. And it only continues this Zap if the file name contains the at symbol, basically identifying the file as, or the file name as an email address. And then finally, it'll use that um, file name to unsubscribe the person from my email list. And just a quick note, when setting this up, I had to specify file name and file extension because with email addresses like .com, um, Dropbox thinks the .com is the file extension. So the I had to set up this file name and file extension basically as the variables that MailChimp uses to search the database. Then what happens, yeah, MailChimp goes ahead and unsubscribes the uh, user. And then what finally happens after a little bit of time, after an hour, is Hazel, which is an automatic document management um, kind of app, goes in after an hour and it, it goes into that action folder. And if the file contains the at symbol, it will delete that file after the hour. So I will show you this workflow in, uh, in, in, in action. So let's say uh, I've got this um, subscriber here in MailChimp, test at poolminers.com. I'm gonna copy that email address now. I'm gonna come back here, I'm gonna open Alfred, and I'm actually gonna type a text expander snippet, which is, oops, unsub. And this snippet 
expands to type the word unsub and actually it pastes the contents of my clipboard in there as well. And I can hit enter. You can see I've got my notification there that basically confirms that the file has been created. So if I look in my Dropbox quickly, you can see test at poolminers.com is a new file in the action folder. Now, if I head on over to Zapier, what I'll do quickly is I'll force this Zap to run. I mean, it would happen automatically in the background, but I'm gonna speed things up and force it to run. And you can see that Dropbox has found the file and the unsubscribe has successfully happened in MailChimp. And so if we come to MailChimp now, if I refresh this page, fingers crossed, the user should be unsubscribed. There you go. And so there you have it. A process that basically took me, you know, one or two minutes to begin with. Now I can, I can unsubscribe people by basically typing in unsub and then an email address into Alfred and it'll all just happen. And so, as I said before, hopefully this inspires you to think about ways that you can simplify and automate different parts of your workday um, and shows you what you can do with different apps that are being strung together. So in, in, this pro, in this example, I'm using Alfred, I'm using Dropbox, Zapier, um, Hazel, and Text Expander. That's five different tools to kind of streamline this process. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching.